So basically, I'm an aspiring film composer, and I've decided to make a video series to document and encourage the development of my understanding of how music can enhance the moving image. I'd love any feedback and support along the way, and thanks for watching. So, for my first project, I found a film on a website called musicwiz.com uh, by a director called Zin Lee, and the film is called The Umbrella. Uh, it's a short three minute long watercolour uh, animation about uh, a man's relationship to his family over time. And it's a really beautiful shot, and I thought it would be a great way to start. So, my main focus when I was creating the music for this was the idea of adding uh, time and duration to the image. I was watching an amazing video by a guy called Dan Golding, which I'll put a link to in the description, and he gave a quote by Michelle Sheehan that was, Synchronised sound made cinema an art of time. And the video was saying that when films were silent, there was more room to play with the, the tempo of the film for the projectionist. But with the introduction of a fixed soundtrack, the speed had to remain constant. So when I was writing the music for The Umbrella, I really had this idea of duration in my head, of trying to really consider time. So with that in mind, I started to create a very, very rough short score in Sibelius. Uh, and I started to plot hit points uh, and structure the musical narrative uh, around the picture. The notes here are all arbitrary. They were just to remind me where things happened and a very basic idea of movement and duration. Uh, and I put in a few key words to help shape the story and to kind of remind me of the direction. Uh, so once I had a skeleton for the piece, I wrote a basic melodic and harmonic line for the strings, uh, which I used as the basis for which the rest of the music spawned from. Uh, actually, this virtual string sound ended up in the final product um, with a few effects, uh, and that was mixed with some higher quality string samples. Obviously, in an ideal world, I'd love to only use acoustic instruments, but without a budget, it's pretty hard. So, now I had an idea of the sound world I wanted to create, I opened up a project in Reaper and began to orchestrate the music. Uh, and for me, the main thing I can see here now in hindsight is just the amount of instruments is way too much for the kind of delicate nature of the film. Um, it was a bit overkill, I think. Um, but anyway... For me, I knew the sound effects would be very important to creating the atmosphere for the film, and I spent a long time uh, browsing effects pages for the perfect rain sound, uh, and I'm pretty happy with what I found. The main lesson I took from creating the soundtrack was how important matching the sound world to the visuals is. I'm a big fan of trying to find something that isn't necessarily the best match, um, or the most obvious match. Goblin soundtrack to Suspiria is my favourite example of this. But really here I think the music is a bit heavy-handed and completely overpowers the, the delicate nature of Sin Lee's animation. I think it's pretty obvious that I've seen Don Cook twice over the last couple of weeks, uh, and Hans Zimmer's um, amazing soundtrack is definitely permeating my thoughts. I mean, for example, if you compare some of my string sounds with Zimmer's arrangement of Nimrod, I think the influence is unavoidably apparent. So to summarise, I had a lot of fun writing the music for this, but I definitely learnt that I need to get less carried away, and that less is definitely more, and tone is everything. I think fewer ideas done with more confidence and clarity would be much more effective, and listening to the original soundtrack, which isn't something I did until after I'd finished. Uh, I definitely think the original composer, Timothy Bond, really nailed the, the tone a lot more. It's a lot more gentle and matches the, the delicate nature of the animation. Um, so yeah, these ideas is definitely something I will focus on in the next video. I'm going to try and do these weekly depending on my schedule. Um, thank you to Callum Albrow for his amazing production sparkle in the mastering of the track. Uh, thank you to Zin Lee for making the film available for rescoring. And thanks for supporting this process. Like I said, I'd love any feedback, both positive and negative, and see you next time.